I did a little bit of reading from pamphlets and I did a course, but it was all too much for me. I couldn't comprehend it very well. Sometimes when doctors are explaining treatments and tests that need to be done, they can use medical jargon or medical terms that people may not necessarily understand and that also can be quite confusing for people. So it's really important if you don't understand what the doctor's saying that you interrupt and ask them to explain it in plain language. Both Barbara and I found it very difficult because we, we kept on coming away with different impressions of what was said so um, and I and I suppose you just the brain's not working properly and it's not absorbing the information and I think it's a it's a major issue for anybody that's confronting surgery or radiotherapy and uh, that they uh, somehow manage to ask the right questions and somehow manage to remember them because otherwise you're going to get a very confused picture and sometimes you You've got an idea that is actually totally false to actually what's going to happen. Many patients meet a lot of doctors when they're first diagnosed with lung cancer and they go through a lot of tests and hear lots of language that makes sense to us as health professionals but of course doesn't necessarily make sense to them at this time when they're highly stressed. So we interpret back some of that information that they get from the medical staff and from other members of the team. The initial visits to the the doctors, the health, or any of the health professionals was confusing because if I remembered one question I wanted to ask, that was about as much as I could do. And half the time I don't think I absorbed what they were telling me. I might hear the first couple of phrases and then the rest was just a, a confusion. Which I, and I had trouble remembering it afterwards and we'd discuss it. And we had different, different, different answers. So I did learn, after a few visits, to actually take in a list of questions that I wanted to ask, because that was the only way I could remember them. And I, I even got to the point of writing down, making some notes of the answers, which was a much better strategy. So my husband came with me and we had a long interview with all the different oncology people and the radiation people and it was good to have him there because I didn't then have to go home and explain what had happened. If English is not your first language you can ask to have an interpreter present for your consultations. Interpreters can be helpful even if you do have family who speak English. An interpreter is available then to explain medical terminology and conditions that may be more difficult for family members to either share or to explain. The doctors were there, one doctor in particular, he was fantastic. Uh, you could ask him anything, I felt really comfortable with him. I asked him anything I wanted to know, I'd ask him. Um, and when you, I finished with going to see my doctor, he would always say to me, if you think there's something wrong, you can always come back, come back straight away. So I felt very comfortable. As well as the services available from your doctor and local hospital, the state cancer councils offer a range of support services for anyone affected by cancer. You can visit the Cancer Council website in your state or call the Cancer Council helpline to find out more. The Cancer Council helpline is on 131120 and is the cost of a local call from any state in Australia. Also, the Australian Lung Foundation provides information and resources for patients and their families affected by lung cancer.